Okay, this is what I don't like about the Testo 557S is that when you're pulling a vacuum and once you get below that 15 inches of mercury, that's what happens. You just get a bunch of X's, a bunch of lines, and absolutely nothing on your scale, and you don't know what's happening. But of course, like people say, you can go through the hassle and tee this in somewhere, but why? I mean, we're not on commercial HVAC for this. Now, this is pertaining to automotive guys. Not many guys are gonna, the guys are usually cheap enough where they barely wanna buy these gauges because of the price of them then to have to buy something more like this or something more like this where if they got the field piece even though we all know the right way to draw a vacuum is not through a refrigerant manifold and not through gauges but be serious in reality here guys even whether it's commercial HVAC, residential or automotive guys are tend to be a little bit lazy and sloppy so if you're trying to introduce them to the macron gauge instead of adding more complication to it and more expense by buying a separate gauge this is where i gotta le lean towards the field piece even though it's not in the ideal location the micron gauge is located inside the manifold and preferably when you're taking your read on from for a micron for your readings you would want to take it from the system if i could attach to the hose here but draw a vacuum here I'm reading the true vacuum of the system, not the vacuum on this side of the hose, because the vacuum on this side of the hose through the ports is different than down here or down there, because there's a lag. There's actually a difference in reading. So let's say I read 1100 microns right here, but then I go and I put it on this side of the hose and I attach right here, it might be 900 microns. But then I take the micron gauge and you have the one in here and it might write 820 microns but then you take it and you attach the micron gauge down here and it might be 520 microns you see where i'm getting with this the proper place is actually furthest in the system but with at least a micron gauge included inside what the hell was that are you shitting me you just tap the testo and it, and it, it freaking freaks out okay that's a new thing it's a uh, tap sensitive i guess we have to be gentle with this fragile little baby because it's not work duty rated um okay getting back to this so you want your micron gauge preferably to be in the system but getting back to introducing somebody new to a micron gauge you have the secondary expense you have extra connections that could leak then you have the human tendency to be lazy and just leave it out anyway and don't use it. Well, if it's there staring them in the face, at least they're in that first step of looking at a micron gauge and understanding there's a vacuum deeper than 29 or 29.9. And that's why I lean very heavily towards the field piece gauges. But at least if you did have this system and you did own this manifold or you had any manifold that you can't tell into the microns at least the worst place you could have put a micron gauge is all the way down here but at least look at we have a micron gauge right there and it says we're under 100 microns but that's inside here at this point right at the vacuum at the port before the port here i mean that's like the last place ever but at least you know if you had say 100 microns right here you might have 500 microns right here and you might have 600 microns right here something like that but at least you have a micron gauge so if you didn't have a set of gauges with one there you could get a vacuum pump with a micron gauge but then you're getting back if the guy is cheap he doesn't want to spend money he's not going to buy a more expensive pump with a micron gauge but do you get the whole picture and the story where we're going here it's really important to own a micron gauge and at least step into the 21st century and don't be like our caveman grandfathers from the old days where you just opened up the end of a line you shot some freon in without a vacuum pump or if you had a poor vacuum pump you would purge it pressurize it a little bit 
open it up, let the refrigerant out into the air, and you do that about three times and then pump her up and go and it was good as gold. Beer can cold. Those days are gone. So get a micron gauge, whether you get a separate one, you get a good field piece. And there we go again, just tap it a little bit and it goes blinkers. Really? Okay. Well, I might be hanging these ga gauges up for good and just not using them more. I can't, I just, you know, I can't believe I just seen that. Um, yeah, so this is video number three or four. Can't remember which one it is, but at least I could read right here and I kind of know what's going on. All right here, let me turn off this other vacuum pump. I have the other one on there too, so let's turn that one on and just use the one with the micron gauge. Oh, it's going up, going up to 200 microns, going up. You know, somewhere I've heard somebody say two, mi two vacuum pumps don't make a difference. Hmm, really? Really? Was that in some laboratory in a bench in ideal conditions? I'm willing to challenge you on that. There is some difference. Don't always believe what you read. Um, and that in includes if I had my micron gauge right here and I just did that it would make a difference to it go up so whoever says uh, two doesn't make a difference I will bite my lip and not say nothing um, all right so wait for the next video this was the vehicle that had a super high high side pressure on a 59 degree day 200 grams low on charge it had 380 grams in it and supposed to have 550 but yet it had a high side pressure of 290 on a 60 degree day what's up with that and it got the super squirt jack your off uh, can of uh, pro what's that shit in the in the auto parts store they're selling with all the super goo inside of it the trojan lubricant and all that shit um ac pro yeah, this is the AC Pro baby going on here. So let's watch what happens in the next video after I fill it up. All right, guys, see you. And, and yeah. Uh-huh. See you guys.